Hey, I'm Walt from Inertial Sense. Today I'm talking about the technology that our company makes and produces and how we serve people and giving an understanding. So at the core of our technology is an inertial measurement unit or IMU, which consists of three axis gyros and accelerometers. That IMU is used in an AHARS or an attitude heading reference system. What our software does is it, it integrates or fuses the gyro and accelerometer data from the IMU to estimate roll pitch and heading. What is roll pitch and heading? Roll pitch and heading is the orientation of the vehicle. Roll would be the, the, the tilt angle, pitch would be the elevation angle, and heading is the azimuth angle or the turn angle relative to north. So an IMU is a subset or the core of our, of our product. Add to an IMU the sensor fusion and you get an AHARS, which gives you roll pitch heading information. If you add to that system other aiding sensors, such as a GPS or a GNSS multi-constellation positioning system, a magnetometer or barometer, those aiding sensors then can help the system to do position and velocity estimation. An IMU is the core, an AHARS is the next level up, and then an INS or inertial navigation system gives you velocity and position information. An AHARS is used for people that only care about orientation and they're not tracking position, whereas inertial navigation or, or an INS is used for people that want to track position. And people that want to track position at a higher rate and with more accuracy than a GPS alone. Typical GPS receivers give you update rates at 20 hertz, 50 hertz, and sometimes even up to 100 hertz. But when you fuse with an inertial measurement unit, you can give uh, much higher update rates than GPS provide, and you can filter out noise uh, that you would see on a GPS system. Additionally, you can provide the roll pitch and heading information. It's important to note that a GPS doesn't have the ability to measure roll pitch and heading by itself, a single GPS system. If you add inertial navigation, if you add an IMU to the system and fuse that with the GPS data, then you're able to keep track of the acceleration and the direction of travel heading and roll and pitch information. So that's important. A GPS is, is simply a point measurement instrument, but when you add the inertial aspects to that, then you're able to identify roll, pitch, and heading. So I want to speak about what the difference is between a GPS and a GPS-aided inertial navigation system. A GPS is, is a system that triangulates based off of satellite signals, but a GPS is, is essentially a point sensor. It's capable of measuring and reporting the position of the system at any given point. Over time, it can take those points and it can identify what is a, a ground track heading, as they call it, which is to tell you the direction of travel, but it doesn't tell you anything about the, the orientation of, of the, the vehicle as it travels. A GPS-aided inertial navigation system is, a, in our case, our sensor fusion, which is based on an extended common filter. Well, it's taking the direction vector of the IMU and the direction vector of the GPS data and it's correlating those two. And as a result, it's able to identify the roll pitch and heading at any time as it, in addition to the position and the velocity of the vehicle. And that's unique to what a GPS-aided inertial navigation system or INS does in contrast to a GPS alone. If you have a GPS update only, it's kind of like having one eye and no other sensors on your body and it blinking at a slower rate. And so if you have any kind of dynamics and you're trying to identify what you're doing and you're blinking at a slow rate, then you, you can only have so much observation of what's going on in the world. The, the, I, the IMU or the inertial sensors give us the ability to have much higher update rates and to smooth the updates that come from the GPS. So we can take those blinks and we can fill in the gaps and then if any of the blinks are off in their measurements, we can also correct for those and smooth those out. So it's much like what our human body does. Of, uh, think of a football player running down the field, jostling with a helmet on, and everything's kind of shaking. 
but he can take his senses from his eyes and the ground and his inner ear, and he can figure out what's going on, even though he's getting uh, rocked here and there. Um, that's what the system's doing. It's fusing these noisy sensors because they all have noise, and it's, it's discerning what, the, what is actually happening in the world. We have customers that um, have drones or robotics that are moving through free space and they want to know instantaneously what the orientation and position of that vehicle is at any given time. They may be either stabilizing or controlling the vehicle or they might be um, trying to identify something that's happening off in the distance. And our system is, is capable of giving them that information that they use for those applications. I mean, if you try to do that with a GPS, you can't do that with a GPS alone. Uh, a GPS will tell you, but any, any time you use a GPS in a solution like those, you have to have some additional software to help you understand what the orientation is. It's probably important to say that, that the, the key differentiator is the orientation data, the roll pitch and heading, which you can't get out of a GPS.